This episode is brought to you by the Boneyard Huskies Club. The Boneyard Huskies Club empowers athletes while providing UConn fans with access to exclusive community, utility, and rewards. The Boneyard Huskies Club is excited to announce the next collection of student-athlete collectibles, which grant club membership privileges, will feature UConn men's basketball players in drop on January 9th, 2023. For more information, go to BoneyardHuskiesClub.com. That's Huskies with a YZ at the end. BoneyardHuskiesClub.com. We are getting ready for a bowl game here. So excited to have Jackson back on to uh, get us ready for the Myrtle Beach Bowl. So Jackson, welcome back to the podcast. I know it's been a little bit. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate you having me back. Yeah. So when we last talked, it was getting ready for that Army game. So what what have things been like for the past few weeks uh, since that game ended? Uh, I mean, after that game, it was a little different, obviously, because normally we have a game during Thanksgiving week. So we, we kind of got that whole week off, which was nice to actually get to go home for Thanksgiving and and spend a whole week away from school and that type of thing. So it was really good. And then when we came back, obviously we had a week of practice during like the conference championship week where we didn't know if we were going to a bowl yet or not. So we kind of were just practicing, sharpening our skills, waiting to see, waiting to find out really. And then we found out on that Sunday and we've been preparing for Marshall since then. What was it like to find out that you guys uh, had made the bowl and were going to Myrtle Beach? Uh, it was definitely exciting. It was a little sigh of relief after Coach Moore had told us <laughs> that, you know, because Obviously, we we could have controlled our, our our destiny a little bit better by winning a few more games, that type of thing. But to know we were still making it and getting those seniors another bowl game was really exciting for us. So, so what has practice been like in getting ready for this bowl game? Um, I mean, it's been pretty normal to every other game week. I think last week, Coach Moore kind of told us. Obviously, most of us haven't been to a bowl game, but Coach Moore kind of told us like you do most of your work the, the week prior because when you get down there, it's a little bit chaotic. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of yeah. stuff, that type of thing. So last week was really our, our intense week of game planning and installing all our stuff and intense practices. And then we'll have, we had practice today. We'll have an intense practice tomorrow. And then when we go down on Thursday, it'll be a little bit lighter. The practice is down there. Yeah. I, I know you guys you know, have some seniors on this team, but for you guys as a whole are, are still relatively young. So how big is it to get, you know, a couple extra weeks of practice in here, you know, and get one more game under your belt this season? Yeah, it's definitely really important, especially for the guys that, you know, get an opportunity to play, but still able to redshirt. They can get this experience um, because hopefully they get to a lot more bowl games in in their career. So this is a great experience for them, just for the team to travel down. And obviously Marshall's a really good team too. So to have a few extra weeks to practice and prepare is really nice. What stood out to Marshall so far as you kind of checked them out on film and started prepping for them a little bit? Uh, I mean, one thing about them as a team as a whole, their defense is really, really good. So we're going to have to get stops and help our offense as much as possible because their defense is really talented. And we kind of want to we want to perform against that defense as well, because we think we're a really good defense. Um, but offensively, uh, their running back is really talented. Obviously, he's a transfer from Florida State. Had a lot of yards, that type of thing this year. So he's really talented. And then your quarterback is pretty um, like dual threat as well. He likes to run the ball and that type of thing. So just stopping the run, like like we say every week, and, and hopefully making some plays for our offense. Yeah, I thought it was kind of funny how we've been talking throughout this season, how you guys have been going to avenge some of these losses from previous years. And now you, you get a bowl rematch against the team that, that UConn played in a bowl the last time. Have you guys thought about that at all and getting to go – I know, I know you weren't on that team, but getting to go against the team that, that UConn played the last time they were at bowl, and, and now you got a chance to go out there, beat them, and get a winning season here. Yeah, I mean, Coach Moore <laughs> mentioned it um, when he when we kind of made the bowl announcement that that was the last team we played in the bowl game. So just another um, box we can check, um, avenging a loss against a team that, that we lost to last time we were in a bowl game, and hopefully this is kind of the sends us on a good trajectory with this one. I got to ask, because I, I heard him, Coach Moore, is uh, – press conference maybe it was like a week or so ago he, he talked in, and I don't think I had heard much about it throughout the season but about how you guys basically created a conference with the other teams that you guys were playing what was that like in kind of you know being an independent but still trying to bring in some of that conference type stuff to the the week-to-week uh you know happenings there yeah I mean like when you're in a conference obviously there's something like a goal and a goal in mind besides the bowl game you kind of try to make a conference championship so for us, as being independent, Coach Moore tried to give us a little added motivation going into that final stretch because obviously we wanted to make a bowl game, but we we knew we had to really perform in those last seven games of the season. So he kind of made a conference out of those um, those teams, and then we kind of just went from there. And each week we would 
we would look at the rankings of the teams, you know, take their record against our record. And uh, we ended up finishing a five and two in the conference and all that type of thing. So it was a good little extra motivation. Coach Moore is pretty good at that type of thing. So, yeah, no, it's, it sounds it as you get ready to, to head towards this ball. I know you mentioned that once you get down there, it's pretty, pretty hectic. Do you know what that week is like for you guys yet? And, and some of the festivities and stuff you get to do down there? Um, not really. I think we're going to talk about it more tomorrow, but I know on Thursday we have a little like meet and greet and stuff, I think with both teams, um, and just like getting to know the bowl site, that type of thing. And we first night's kind of just like players to themselves get to relax. And, and maybe if your family's down there, that type of thing, you can get to relax and have the night off and then we'll practice, um, a couple of days. And then I think there's a bunch of events that they got us going to and that type of thing, but it'll be a really cool experience. I've never been to South or Myrtle beach or anything like that. And I've never been to a bowl game. So for us to, to be there is really exciting. Absolutely. I, I, want to ask just a kind of a few questions here uh rapid fire as we uh look back at, at the season and, and think about this um I think I saw you guys went actual bowling like before the bowl announcement what, what was that like who's the best bowler on the team uh honestly I don't I don't really know I I kind of stayed down towards the end I was, <laughs> I, I'm a pretty average bowler but there are some guys that are that are pretty good I know I think next to me Rob Burns was pretty good he was bowling pretty well um and John Beck, so I think those guys are pretty good. All right, interesting. Always, always fun to see uh, who's, who's good things like that. Um, as you look back on this season, you know, throughout this regular season, what was your favorite moment of the season? Um, I mean, it's been a really great season, a, a really great compared to the last couple of seasons. But I think um, that win against Liberty was really special just because it was senior day and it was a chance to become bowl eligible at home. Um, and they were ranked, so to, to come away with a win there and then the fans run on the field, I think it was felt like a turning point in UConn football, so I think that was a really special moment. As you look back on the schedule, I mean, obviously you see you see Michigan's in the playoff now, but who was the toughest opponent that, that you guys went up against during the season? At least for you personally, who, who did you feel was the toughest? Uh, I mean, I think <clears throat> Michigan's like the, the really easy <clears throat> answer just because they yeah. were... They were so uh, talented, and obviously they're well-deserving of, of being where they're at right now. Um, but at the time, I think NC State was a really, really well-rounded team, too. I think after they lost their quarterback, they kind of struggled a little bit, but but they were a really good team, too. They had a really good few running backs and, and offense as a whole. Best away venue that you guys went to this year? Yeah, again, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to say NC State. Like That game was pretty incredible incredible to be at just mm -hmm. you know, it wasn't as big obviously as Michigan that type of environment that was kind of more like uh special just because it's like a college football like like monument pretty much the big house but NC State was it was a little smaller but it was really loud it was sold out and you know they did this thing with the lights and turned them red and and turned them on and off <laughs> and that type of thing so it was a really cool environment to be at I taking aside the the wins and loss differential for, from last year to this year what was it like just going through this season compared to some of your past seasons at UConn here? Um, yeah, it was definitely different. Obviously, you know, we, we got off to a similar start as maybe some of the past seasons with being one and four. Um, but I think what was different was just how the team responded to that and how Coach Moore got us to respond to that and the confidence he mm -hmm. gave us. Um, and you saw us kind of just double down and work harder than we were working before because um, we knew we could go on this run and become bowl eligible. And it kind of started with that Fresno win and, and it just snowballed from there. But I think the team just, we felt, we kind of found our identity a little bit and, and got more confident as the, the season went on. What was it like throughout the season? Like as you guys started to pick up some momentum to like really get that response from the fan base too. Cause I feel like this year, especially as we you know got into October, November, like there was a lot of UConn football chatter, which we haven't necessarily gotten at that time, you know, at that time of the year in the past you know, few years. What was it like, you know, to just be a part of that and, you know, hear you guys mention nationally, um, you know, get the fans a little bit more excited about the program as well? Um, yeah, it was definitely really exciting and really important, I think, for the school and the program and the state because, uh, you know, we've struggled for a while, but to see that the fans are kind of getting back into it now and, and like, hopefully this is kind of just a springboard into the future. Um, but it was really exciting to see and hear from them. I know they, they love to go on Twitter and that type of thing. So yeah. it's really cool to see them on Twitter and excited about where the program is now and, and where it's going to go in the future. And, you know, normally at this time of the year, it's, it's strictly basketball. But for them to still be talking about our, our bowl game and that type of thing is is exciting for sure. Yeah. I mean, bowl, bowl game you know, both men's and women's basketball ranked, men's and women's yeah. hockey ranked. It's, it's an exciting time at UConn. 
Yeah, it's definitely, it's pretty impressive um, what uh, AD Benedict has been able to do and, and all the coaches and sports teams have been able to do here for sure. You know, I, I'm curious, the first time you met Coach Mora to now getting like a full year of working with him, did he like meet or exceed your expectations that you kind of had for him going into it? Um, I think he exceeded my expectations because, I mean, I didn't really know much about him when I first met him or when he was introduced to us as our new head coach or anything thing like that but just getting to know him and talking to him like he's a really good guy but also he's like a genius when it comes to football and especially defensive side of the ball so and you know we've worked with him a lot on the defensive side of the ball more yeah. so just because he's kind of been our defensive coordinator this year so just getting to know him and and, and picking his brain about football and, and the NFL and all types of things is, is really cool and he's a really good guy yeah I know uh, we usually ended these by doing a little bit of Giants talk. I know it's kind of gone downhill since we've uh, stopped yeah. doing these. Uh, how are you feeling? I know you know a big one coming up this weekend against uh, D.C. Yeah, I mean, we started 6-1. and one. We've been struggling the past six games. Um, but this is definitely a huge one. I think they're, they're now in the playoffs ahead of us. But if we win this game, we're going to get that spot right back. So it's pretty much it, it's, a, it's a huge one. That's got to be a win for us for sure. Um, but yeah, last week was pretty tough. The Eagles are pretty good, and I think, you know, they're 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 the favorite for the Super Bowl right now. Yeah, no, it's a it, and I mean NFC East was kind of the laughing stack of football for a little bit, but now probably like one of the tougher divisions out there. Yeah, definitely for sure. It's it's pretty crazy to see the turnaround. <laughs> uh, I'll wrap with this one. I I know especially during the summer months, uh, UConn Twitter likes to debate a bunch of random topics, and the topic of the beach was a big one, and if people were a beach person or not. You guys are going to Myrtle Beach. Are you a big beach guy? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm a huge beach person. Um, I mean, I don't know about down there because I don't think it's going to be as warm as <laughs> it might have been if we went to Florida. But, um, yeah, I'm a big beach guy. And I actually do have to go in the water because I made a bet with Cam about the Eagles. So Oh, got... uh, so you got to go in the water. So tell us about that. Uh, well, I made a bet with him that if, if the Giants win, then he got to go in the water. And if the <laughs> Eagles win, then I got to go in the water. Obviously, the Eagles. Kind of blew right. us down, so I got to go in the water, no matter the temperature. All right, so someone's got to film that, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, put we'll on. Do. All right, all right, so be be on the lookout, on, you know, for Twitter for that uh, this week. But uh, Jackson, best of luck to you and the team. I know everyone's really excited about this opportunity for you guys, so wish you guys the uh, best of luck in the bowl game. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely.